Welcome back to Lock and Reload. So don't mind me, I'm just cleaning firearms. But I'm letting you guys know that uh, this weekend, as far as July 29th of 2011, so this coming weekend, uh, Weaponier and myself, we are uh, we're doing our camp and shoot. We originally didn't want to do it. We originally weren't going to do it because we had our outbreak Omega. Well, we decided, well, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, basically, uh, this is an open invitation. Uh, basically, if you want to come, great. Uh, this is going to be held in the southern part of Wisconsin. Very southern for me, it's a two hour drive for me. So this is basically for all the people in Wisconsin. But, if you're from other, the surrounding states, or hell, if you're from Texas or another state, you know, and if you want to make the trip, feel free. But anyway, uh, we're holding it this weekend. Uh, like I said, it's a camp and shoot. Now, the camping is primarily, obviously, uh, camping, sitting around a campfire and bullshit. Also, this gives you your opportunity to try out some of the gear that you like. Uh, basically, uh, knives, camp stoves, stuff like that, things that are survival, survival, prepping, stuff that you want to try out and see if it's going to be, it's going to do what you want it to do, and see if it's going to hold up. This is the best way to do it. Uh, for instance, uh, if you have been paying attention to my channel at all, I, I do have a review on my Gerber LMS. Well, I did all that and all the testing at the camping shoot. And, uh, no, and uh, that, that gave me great data points on that. And that's, that's the beauty of this camp, is you can go ahead and try out different gear. But anyway, and that's pretty much the camping. So test out gear, sit around a campfire at night, and bullshit, and talk about firearms, life in general, whatever, you name it. We talk about anything and everything. And I believe this is our third, maybe fourth, I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, no, it's, uh, it's a good time. So if you're interested, obviously you leave Weapon Ear or myself a PM, whether you want to show or not. I know this is last minute, but it is what it is. Now, as far as the, the shooting, usually takes place on a Saturday or a Sunday, whichever day we decide to, you know, for us to work out. Um, I know we have Weapon Ear, myself, we have another guy that's coming, I think it's Wisconsin, Eric, and, uh, and hopefully you... Uh, you can shoot me a PM and let me know whether you're going to show up. And I do apologize for uh, the inconvenience of it being so late, but I've just been busy doing other things. Uh, but yeah, feel free to shoot me a PM. Also, the shooting. Uh, the shooting, we're going to go ahead and uh, do World War II sh shooting. So if you have any World War II bolt-action rifles or firearms from the World War II era, bring them out. Now, this isn't condemning any firearms. If you have any firearms that you want to bring out shooting, whether it be a two, uh, 223 uh, or an AR or a 22, if you like to shoot it, bring it out. So this is an open invitation for any firearms. But for up in here and myself, uh, we want to bring out uh, World War II rifles. I'm bringing out my 9130. Weapon here is bringing out some stuff. I know uh, Wisconsin Eric's bringing out some stuff. So it should be a good time with that. So, that being said, uh, you know, shoot me a PM, shoot Weapon Ear a PM, let me know if you want to show or not. And again, it'd be great if you can come out. If not, we'll catch you next time. We're going to be, we're trying to do this once a month, every month. Because it gives us something to do, gives us a chance to get out of the grind and, and uh, just sit around with good friends and talk bullshit, do whatever. Not to mention, it gives you good trigger time, it gives you good practice. You know, we do everything from... Uh, Testing stuff out at the range, run and gun. I know we were shooting at a sappy plate, trying to break that. Um, I know I'm going to be doing some tests with my blue plastic ammunition. Uh, I have a video on that actually, so check that out. It's uh, less lethal and uh, supposed to be less lethal, but read my disclaimer and you'll understand. And we want to—I want to find out how less lethal that is. So you get to—you know—try out stuff like that. So, if you're interested, uh, obviously you let myself and Weapon Ear know. Now, the price. Uh, I bet you're thinking, how much is this going to cost me? 
Well, it's actually not going to cost you very much. Uh, the camping uh, for the campsite is five bucks a day. So if you want to stay a day, it's five bucks. So it's pretty inexpensive. So it's very economical. Now, if you want to shoot, it's the grand total of a whopping twenty-five dollars for the year. Granted, I live in the northern part of Wisconsin, so for me, it's worth it to go down to the southern part of Wisconsin because I paid twenty bucks for twenty-five bucks for the year. I apologize. I'm shooting this video out on my balcony because it's really nice out, and I got I got a clean fire. Anyway, uh, so yeah, feel free to uh, let weapon here myself know. It's pretty inexpensive. Obviously, the uh, other overhead costs is obviously obviously fuel to get here, ammunition, and whatever guns you want to bring, whatever gear you want to test out. This is a great opportunity to do so. So, obviously, leave us a message. Let me know if you want to show or not. And again, this is for the people in Wisconsin, or in the surrounding states, or if you just want to show up, you know, let us know. So this is uh, the video on Camp and Shoot, and hopefully I see you at the Camp and Shoot. This is Lock and Reload. As always, catch you later.